the Vision 2. But uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, that means you're just watching my rant here. Um, I don't feel like uh, like editing today. Um, uh, so I just, uh, anyway. So yeah, I'm glad 11 people decided, boy, you guys have nothing to do with your lives at this hour. <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, so yeah, here I am. It's, um, it's that time again. Silver Surfer 621. I can't exactly pause this game, so give me a moment. Um, and I got... I'm reading what you write over here, playing over here, and the camera's over there, so it's kind of difficult. Um, yeah, I play a Call of Duty. I didn't say I didn't say I was good. I said I play. Um, being good is a different story nowadays. I, I just don't have enough time to practice and all that. Um, And, but yeah, I play Call of Duty sometimes. Uh, I stream Call of Duty, but not as much as I do this. I just like to do random missions and everything. It's a lot easier to stream when you have no visible objective. You just uh, go out there into the world and uh, do the right thing. Or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> um, yeah, stuff. Is well, yeah. Usually I don't stream at this hour, but um, I just uh, feel I need, needed to take a take a breather. Um, and shit, and just wind down a little bit. I haven't slept in like a lot. I just got off work, and I just felt, you know what, I. Uh, I just want to play something and disconnect before I go to bed at some point. Um, uh, that's a long story. I don't think we'll have time for that. <laughs> and it just, you know, eh. I mean, why can't we just talk about games? It'd be easier. Yeah. Wow. Is it that easy to... Am I that easy to read? Yeah, it has to do with girls. Or girl, girl. Girl, for that matter. It's funny. Wow. It always has to do with girls. Or, like I said, girl. It's always... Same thing. Oh. Oh dear, yes. Yes, you're right. Wow, you remembered. Yes, I remember in the summer dealing with the same the same problem. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> but yeah, it um Uh, um, I just don't feel like it. Oh my God. <sighs> no, I, I, am. Um, yeah. I shot off my Facebook and um, my social Facebook as well, as well as my personal Facebook. Um, I just want to take some time to just, just step away from the world and all that crap for a while. I just need some time to think about what the hell is happening and all that. 
I got my best friend. He's like texting me nonstop. He's like, "Oh, why did why did you um uh, why did you disconnect your Facebook? Why did you disconnect your Facebook?" Like texting me, "Bro, are you alright? Is everything okay? Please call me. I'm worried." It shit like that all night eh, up until like 2 a.m. in the morning. And I'm like, I just don't don't want to talk about it. At least not to him, cause I know what he's gonna say. He's, I know him, I know what he's going to say, he's going to say, oh, his favorite, um, his favorite five words, I mean favorite, one, two, three, four, his favorite four words, I told you so, and he's right, he did, he, uh, he, uh, he did, but, you know, it's, uh, like I said, it has to do with girls, and a girl, damn, 17 people? What the hell did I do to deserve this? Uh, thank, thank you for those joining us. You guys have nothing better to do. Um, I warn you, if you're a first-timer watching this stream or watching my channel, um, you might, you might... Um, you might think of me as uh, rather weird, but it's okay. It's it's by design. It's the way I am, and so if uh, you don't have to hit subscribe, just so you know. Um, but if you like what you see, then uh, feel free to comment or whatever it is that people do nowadays. Um, and. Uh, do tell. Do which part? The uh, my best friend's part, or or the girl part? Cause you know it's kind of like it's kind of like intertwined. If you think about it, if if I want to explain it simple enough, um, my best friend he looks out for me, and I get it. He has his way, and it's not exactly for everybody. And he. Um, He's always been very supportive of me when it comes to like who I go out with and everything. But in this particular case, he's like, I don't know, I got a feeling about this one. And he keeps telling me, he's like, you know, dude, I don't know. She just doesn't, doesn't look good for you. And she's going to, she's going to tear you apart. And, and he's telling me all these things. And I'm like, I'm like putting it aside and I'm, I don't want to erase him or block him because in a way, he's been there before for me, and I don't want to do that to him. He doesn't deserve that. But at some point, I gotta explain to him, like, if you want to be my friend, you gotta accept what I do and what my decisions are. And but here's the thing: he's been right. He's been right before, and. And I gotta wonder. Stop it! No, Finger. No, like, fuck. Mmm. Tigger, stop it! My cat is uh, scratching my bed, and he knows not to do that. Where was I? Uh, yeah, my best friend. He, I know he cares, and he's been right about many things before including most of the time my things for women he's always told me like no matter what happens you know i'll be here when they leave our your best friends and your true friends will always be here and in a way it's 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 a consistency he's uh he's never wavered about that and he's never faltered he's been there and I hate it every time that he tells me, I told you so. And it's just, um, since 2000, I've known him since the year 2000. We uh, worked at Blockbuster Video. Um, so it's been 20 years, 20 years, damn. And 
he's been there. He and I have had some troubled times in the past, but he's made up for it. And I can see that he's a changed human being. And I tend to give people a chance, maybe more than I should, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot for doing that or stupid. You could call me if you want. I mean, I don't mind. He's um he's 37 or 38. He's about two years younger than I am or something like that. Um, he's a good guy. He just... He's seen me at my worst. He's had to see me at my very difficult times. Fucking fast travel. Oh, you can't fast travel while enemies are around. Um, sorry. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, he's seen me at my worst, and he's been there. And I just don't feel it. I'm going to kick you out of there. Uh... My other cat is like jumping in the closet. Uh, fuck it. Um, so he's seen me at my worst, so I tend to like try to stick with him because he's earned that. And yeah. Yeah. Um, any females watching this? Of my 19 people. Damn, let's keep going. I've never had more than 100 people watching. Um, 19 people. Of these 19 people, any of you females? Um, this is strictly for the females. I need to ask... Um, okay, there's one. I need to ask a question. Because I really need to know if this is like something universal. It's just... It's just... <laughs> it just happens to me. Uh, two. Awesome. Somebody's writing. Three. Okay, three. You know what? Uh, anyway. Okay, so I know there's three girls here. Okay. Um. You know, it's not. It's not. I'm not gonna ask anything. It's more like a general piece of advice from a 40 year old. Just so you know. Um. Good guys are not. You know, a dime a dozen out there. So if. If, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's a nice donation. 16 bucks. <laughs> I'll put it to good use. Probably on Resident Evil. Uh, and anyway, that. Thank you for the donation. Anyway. Um, good guys are not a dime a dozen out there. Like you might think. And... Let me just stay here in the White House for a while while I talk. Um, okay, wait, I can think clearly. Um, good guys aren't a dime a dozen. And if you have one, treat him with, uh, with care, you know. Care about them, you know. If they're really good, don't, don't hurt them because it's... it's it just never ends well for them. You might think, oh, you know, what he doesn't know that won't hurt him. But you gotta look at yourself in the mirror at some point. And do you really want to see that part in the mirror? It's not good. It's never gonna leave you. Once you do something stupid, it always haunts you. It doesn't matter how old you are or, or, or the bullshit of like, oh, it was you know, it was in a different continent or a different country or whatever. No, it, it doesn't work like that. Listen, if you do something stupid, you did something stupid. And he doesn't have to know because you'll know. And and you'll think, oh, what if he did something? You know what? Don't think about that. Forget about what he would do, do you. If you're a person with dignity and respect, care for somebody um, like that. And don't be afraid to show affection, okay? And 
contrary to what um, ch other chicks will tell you. Um, oh, she's uh, she's older than I am, but not by much. Anyway, um, shit. ADHD, people. ADHD. Anyway. Uh, so, don't be afraid to show affection. Don't be afraid to just, I don't know, or just decide to hug him or, you know, play around and stuff. And contrary to popular belief, guys like that. And and we'll show you, we'll show this like face like, oh, don't do that in front of the guys or whatever. But in reality, we love that shit. And... It's this common misconception that, oh, guys don't like affection or whatever. No, we do. We do. And we like somebody who can show it. And we like somebody who's not afraid. And, you know, I've been hurt before. And it's not a good thing. It's not... Well, I've had... Seven girlfriends. Um, I don't know. That's like very little, but uh, you know they've all been like um, five, six, seven months or over. I don't do the whole like, oh, I'm dating this person just for the hell of it, and I'm done. Then no, if I get I get start dating somebody, it's um, it's it's for the long run. It's because I believe and. And you might think, wow, you believe seven times, you must be stupid. And it's like, yeah, well, it's not always me. And it's sometimes, I'm not going to say I'm perfect because I'm not. Um, but let's just say I get a bad rap for being a good guy. And uh, guys, guys, this one's for you. Whatever you do, don't be the good guy. I'll tell you right now. I'm 40. I'm telling you right now, girls don't want a good guy. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's the problem. But for so long, I've been such a good guy, and I've had you know values and morals, and I've been a nice guy, and I've shown my human side, I've shown my affection, all that, and you know, they just don't give a shit about that. It's not the 1960s or 1970s or 50s or whatever, and they don't give a shit about that. Um, um, nowadays, you know who gets gir the girl? The asshole. The asshole who, you know, he's got a horrible reputation and, and treats girls like shit and all that. That's the one who gets every girl that he wants. And he'll get the girl that that you want because he's like that. Because that's what they want. And it's a shame, but it's it's a reality. And my only regret is uh, not be <laughs> well, yeah, that yeah, that happens too. Well, you know, but in, in a way, it's no distance is not a problem. Distance is not an issue. Um, because I don't mind driving. Um, you can have somebody, if you if you if you care about somebody, or if if you love somebody, in any case, um, distance is never an issue. They'll tell you, oh, it's stupid if you live a uh, long distance relationship. No, it's not. It's not. You got the discipline, and you have the uh, integrity and the dignity and the respect. Um, that's not an issue. You'll find a way. But they got. She's got to feel the same way about you, and you see that's the problem. When uh, it's got to be mutual, and there's got to be that mutual respect for one another, and and it's very hard to find nowadays. That's why you get kids like, oh well, <laughs> one week they're in a relationship with this person, and another week they're in a relationship with that person. They're like, what the hell happened here? It's like, oh well. We just couldn't see eye to eye on things and all that bullshit. You know what? Um, 
it's it's you don't have to jump from person to person I mean you can date but you want a girlfriend that you can trust and, and ladies you want a guy that you can trust thank you yes but I thank you yes my mustache is my uh, pretty much my calling card at this point but due to the current circumstances surrounding the world it's going it's leaving my mustache is bye-bye not just because of that my father personally asked me to please shave it off because apparently the virus is this whole coronavirus stop running uh, this whole coronavirus uh, is more propen uh, more propens to be kept in beards and mustaches so I'm doing it as a favor to him you just well I love my dad and I don't know if I'll when and if I'll see him again so so yeah it's a hell of a time to be alone You always want somebody not to have somebody you don't need somebody you don't need somebody who's just an accessory who's just there because you uh, you need a plus one you want somebody who, who you can be proud of being with and I just don't think I'm I was built for this era no, my, my, no, he's fine. He's just, he lives in Puerto Rico and I live here in Florida. And right now, travel restrictions are pretty high. And let's say this is going to get worse before it gets better. So at this point, I don't have a clear, defined date as to when I'll see them again. Right now, I'm here in Florida all alone. This is what it feels like. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to deviate. I want to. I want to continue giving the advice that I wanted to give. Um, the. Oh, don't be, don't be sorry. It's it's not your fault. Um, this whole virus bullshit is. Nobody could predicted this shit. I wanted zombies, and we got this bullshit virus. Anyway, point is, um, I forgot what I was saying. Jesus Christ, I haven't slept in like a lot. The first thing I, first instinctively, I wanted to just come home and play on my Xbox, and I find all oh, you 18, 18, nice, nice number there. Like I said, you guys had nothing better to do. But um, I find, you know, all you good people here. And like I said, uh, it's a hell of a time to be alone. And that's just what it feels like at this moment. <laughs> wow, it's ironic. You want a hug? Yes, I do. I do want a hug. Um, I'm a hugger. Yeah, that's me. You know, bear hugs. I give good, strong hugs. I don't. Most people can't, cannot um, survive them. Um, uh, anyway, let's not. Let's just you know. Hell, talk, no, you don't need to talk about hugs. Anyway, point is, uh, like I said, I was saying something and I forgot. Mm, ADHD, man. ADHD. And you know, I told her we have to do the best we can 
for today and and this is this is the best piece of advice and I and uh, I will answer that just give me a moment today live for today because the way things are going we're not guaranteed a tomorrow and you might not get to see the people you care about one last time so right now if you're watching this and you have you have a chance to see your significant other at any point during the day um, or at any point soon just make the most of it because you don't know when when that might end. We don't know when all this might end. Nobody trusts anyone. <sighs> I, I will go back to Alien Isolation, I promise. This week, in fact, Alien Isolation tomorrow night. I'm off tomorrow night, so yes, I'm taking you on that offer. I'm going to play Alien Isolation for you fine people tomorrow night. And it's fitting, you know, that I'm going to be playing Alien Isolation, being isolated here. Wow. <laughs> what are the odds of that? But yeah, like I said, um, thank you. <laughs> this, uh, I can play the DLC. I can play the, 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 the extra content if you'd like. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to start a new game. I already did that. And you can check on my playlists, um, Alien Isolation playlists. Uh, that was one of my first tries at a Let's Play. Uh, you can check it if you like. It's not pretty, but it's there. But, but I don't know if I'm gonna start a new game, but I'm gonna play it. In fact, when I wake up, if I were, whenever that happens, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and install the game. I gotta erase a bunch of shit here, but I'm gonna install the game. And, um, you know, no, no, don't log off. Um, and I'm gonna play it tomorrow night. I'm off tomorrow night. And I'm gonna do that for you guys. Hopefully some of you will turn out um, and watch me go through that shit. <laughs> um, anyway. Going back to the significant other thing. Make the most of it. Make the most of it. Every day is a gift. <laughs> this is Rickahoff X1 signing off.